Hey Vox here, so today we got the Madden 25 review. Now obviously these reviews right away are a little early because the game changes a lot through the year. Like we saw with college football, they had a massive patch that made that game significantly better, but they still have things to work on over there. Let's not get that wrong. Madden will have a lot of patches through the years due to uh, you know some of the issues between zones, uh, logic out there between blocking. And we'll just get into it um, in the review. Uh, now this is uh, this review is going to be focused a lot more towards like online play more than offline so just know when that is there so gameplay 50 percent of the grade we're gonna go like good and bad on it right off the bat right good hit stick changes are okay but like i get it they wanted to do like the anniversary of madden 05 hit stick so they revamped it but i really didn't think this was needed over many other things that are in the problem of the game a hit stick was not a problem the only problem with hit sticks in previous years was they didn't cause fumbles they like you could hit stick a quarterback with the the, the biggest baddest guy out there and they'd hang on to it a good majority of the time um, especially if they were like on conservative or something, but the good is that like, you know, Deion Sanders used to be able to hit sticks on like Derrick Henry and stuff. So now you got to go for cut sticks, which is more realistic. So I guess that's kind of a, a check mark, but to be fair, hit sticks aren't really in the game of football anymore. And they are flags for unnecessary roughness, whether you're doing it on receivers. I mean, you can do it on, on running backs. You can really hit them hard, but a lot of times now, it's just like hockey, you really hit somebody hard, you're getting into a fight, right? You really level somebody out, depending on the situation. If it's a, if it's a quarterback, you're getting some fists coming your way. So, in in it, like it, it's interesting because a lot of their movement and stuff, they've gone more realistic, is how they're describing us going away from the, the arcadey, more fun based gameplay, in my opinion, um, to more realistic. But then they keep adding more like hit sticks and stuff in here. That's like that's kind of been taken out of the game. So it's an interesting like what they choose to make video gaming and what they choose not to um switch sticks really cool probably the best um defensive addition since zone drops maybe even better than i don't know i don't know it's right up there with zone drops i'd say both a plus additions to help the defensive side of the ball um so switch sticks really nice custom audible saving game the game coming later they said so that's I, that's not really gonna factor in Kickoff changes means nerds can't onside me for three quarters. But to be fair, the the onside kick changes is due to, you know, last year they added onside kicks that nobody asked for that were, like, glitched out and would be recovered at, like, nearly 50% rate. Um, sometimes over that, depending on if your opponent knew the defense for it or not. Like, the kickoff changes is, like, an NFL thing. I'm glad they got into the game. Unlike the show, who, like, couldn't implement the DH in Diamond Dynasty for, like, two years after it gone. Uh, it took them a little while. I, I don't know why that wasn't uh, like put in there like a week later. Um, coverage shells are nice. I don't see a lot of people using coverage shell as far as the online gameplay because in Madden we have baseline college. They don't have baseline. In reality, there's no such thing as baseline in the pros. But like Madden, they wanted to go more towards the um, uh, competitive side. So they added baseline um, into it to help out blitzes and stuff. So like... Coverage shells, though, being able to disguise your cover three is cover two. I love it. Um, I really do. Now, obviously, we'll talk about in the bad kind of some of the fallout on their coverage and oh, not, not, but like the ability to go ahead and disguise like real teams do is really neat. Okay. All right. So there is more, obviously, like, but like a lot of the gameplay, you know, it's been, it's been very similar for years. And that's kind of our problem with it. So let's get into the bad, right? So good and bad. Blocking. Now, they added, I guess you can say this is good too. They added the ability to see who you guys are targeting pre-snap. Um, and there's like, I wish there was a way to, like they added a way of like, you know, you can ID the mic for, I don't know, five years now, double team, all this stuff. And you know, some of that double teams, ID the mics allow you to like instantly get out the pocket by cutting a defensive end. It's like overpowered at times, but it's also necessary to stop some of these degenerate blitzes online. A half slide, full slide line, just like we saw in college football. Awesome stuff, but also... The blocking is just bad at times. Like, if I could avoid blocking the user who is hovering over the middle of the line just to cause AI issues with my blocking, I would I would love to have an avoid. Also, I don't know why blocking, it takes so long to set up your assignments. with like the, I get it, like, realism, like, you got to communicate your offensive line. But in reality, while the quarterback's making checks, the offensive line is checking themselves, right? Uh, th there should be zero hesitation with making audibles blocking because, like, to block a blitz and then set up the rest of your play takes way too long online. It really does. So, because uh, they have to hit, like, the same, like, three buttons and, like, the animations take forever depending on your quarterback. They've added different ones to different players. I I'm, I'm very annoyed at some of the blocking. They're not only pass protection, but run blocking's terrible.
terrible. Like, you'll see this, like, you'll have a guy double teamed, but then, like, he'll get, like, slightly uh, interact with at the ball, and, like, the second guy won't interact with them. Like, they won't play the animations to block them, and they'll just slide right through in here, especially against pass commit. It's terrible. These random A gaps. Dude, just think of, like, the double mug blitz that you're seeing in the meta right now. They have four guys going at two gaps. You know what happens when four guys go at two gaps in real life? They all trip and fall on the ground. You know what, Madden? They all just stay up, right? And they just they, they slide through your offensive line. There needs to be some sort of, like, crash down. Uh, like, we used to have the ability to crash, like pinch your offensive line. They took that out. Like, there needs to be some way of his being like, hey, don't allow this. Now, I'm only worried, like... I say, like, you know, you need to fix offensive line logic. I don't trust them to fix the offensive line logic. So, like, it's almost to the point where, like, hey, these guys should be falling over and tripping over each other instead of sliding past each other like video game characters um, that are that are told not to interact with each other. But, like, I'm worried because they're going to screw it up, right? Mid-season patches, especially something like O-line logic, that could be really bad. And then the blitzes get even worse. So I'm almost, I'm almost to the point where I'm like, you know what, EA? Your game sucks, but don't patch it because you could absolutely make it work worse if you only put like a week into like the blocking AI to fix this. You could, you know, open a whole can of worms there. So blocking, it, like downfield blocking is also awful. Like, so the fact that you need animations play play out um, to get your blocks correct and they oftentimes don't, they just slide past some random A-gap disengage blitzes. Very annoying. Let's move on. I got I got more points to make. Like I I I hope one year they put like an offensive lineman on the cover and they just devote the whole year to fixing offensive line. And I was gonna say the same thing about defensive zone. Next year, let's put Sauce Gardner on the on the on the cover, right? Very like big market, big name, just fix zones. And then maybe two years from now, put an offensive line there. Maybe we'll get like a generational offensive line. Maybe Andrew Thomas in New York becomes that dude as far as a media darling. I don't know, but something needs to change. Zones, zones is, 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 I don't even know where to start with zones. Deep zones suck. There's no reason why a deep third should bail out. Like, EA has overcorrected the one play touchdown issue, and it's so annoying. These guys, uh, like, don't know what they're doing out there in the field. Like, they're, they're like middle schoolers, and all they do is run backwards. And then when the ball's thrown, literally they're looking at the ball. They don't even react. They don't even move. Why should we need an ability to react in zone coverage? Can you make, like, like the fact that they're relying on switch sticks so often to make plays. There is no reason why a corner route with no clear out, no clear out, should not be played by a deep third or deep quarter zone drop there. Okay? Uh, like, it's crazy. Under zones still shuffle to their assignment. They don't turn and run. Um, uh, flat zones don't hard flat. If you put, like, a zone drop on a purple, it, like, drops back, like, 50 million meters we're not we're going full european on it that's that's how bad it is so i, I it's just it's just overall like the zone drop zones are awful and that's not even talking about match so like they turned for some reason they got rid of the match toggle why did they get rid of the match toggle on the coach assignments I, that i'll never get that would like i was like okay why did you have that right away and then like i got used to it. i'm like i love this i love match toggle and it's weird because like in college football, you can turn off the match by, like, shading your under coverage. Like, shade it down, shade it up, turn it, getting over the, the purples. But in Madden, it's not that way. I I, I don't... I, I, there's so many there's so many things that, like, they've added or taken away that I just... I don't understand the reasoning. Now, you have people calling cover threes, like, cover three blitzes. And, like, you see a lot of casuals not knowing why the guys are vacating zones. Um, so, like, I got used to the toggle because I understood who it was for. And now they took it away. Now I have to, like, know in college how to take it off. But in Madden, it gets taken off, like, inconsistently doing different things. I'm, I'm very frustrated. And that's just, that's just the toggle. Let's not talk about the absolute disaster that is match coverage itself. They, that, like, just like Google Search, if EA just removes all of their logic from, like, the last three years and goes back to, like, match coverage when it actually had the box check from a few years ago, like, they, it would be better. It's crazy. The, the more they work on it, the worse it gets. I, I don't know what's happening there, but the thousand uh, monkeys typing on a thousand typewriters, EA, like th their code's wrong. I, I, I don't know why it's so hard and why you keep making it worse. It's the same thing that we see with like pursuit, uh, blocking logic, like, oh, we added more logic for downfield blockers. They're still just like whiffing on guys, not even trying, no contextual awareness. It's, it's, it's so frustrating to see match, which is one of the main forms of coverage in the NFL now just completely be useless just gets one played so easily by random route combos too i i don't know it, it, it's so weird to me passing 
I don't know why left trigger passing is so much worse this year. Why do they keep messing with it? They, they're going to add revamp from college. I didn't love the revamp. I know some people do because, like, I don't, I didn't know how to, like, bullet pass my, the balls. Like, they all sell, seemed like they were floated. Like, new trajectories for revamp. But what if I want the trajectory to be as fast as possible? It, it's, it still felt like they were lollipops. Maybe, maybe that's a visual thing. Maybe it's the same speed regardless. But I, it, it didn't feel that way. That's why, you know, speed is king. Pass velocities, obviously, the, the ultimate speed shouldn't be in the game, but they are. I'm not even talking about abilities yet. Um, run game. Um, we've had the same run block logic since I've remembered in Madden, and it's been bad, right? Like, edges. Some years, edges do a good job holding the edges. Other years, like this year, like, guys like Lawrence Taylor, because of the length of animations, will get, like, blocked by 50 run blocking tight ends. Kyle Pitts is, like, the greatest road grader of all time when you see how well he handles some of these amazing players. Like, you'll see in the NFL, like, Guys will try and block players like Max Crosby and just get over overwhelmed, right? They'll just, like, throw on the side. And Madden, the reason why they don't allow us to put wide receivers at tight ends because wide receivers are functionally amazing blockers at 170 pounds. Whether they're impact blocking, whether they're, they're run blocking, hook blocking, whatever it is, they're amazing at, at, at stopping these 250-pounders. Like, impact block should be a stat that actually matters, but it's too bad that, like, like on stretches, you know, in the NFL, like if they're running a stretch, like the entire line will keep will keep going because of momentum and stuff, and it's hard to hook and stop defensive linemen. Like that line line will go, and then like everyone just gets stopped at a certain point. They don't actually keep going. The momentum doesn't keep going. The offensive lineman eventually just wins the hook engagement. So like that's why stretch. You'll see stretches and then cut back up being like the greatest offense in the history of ever, unless you can specifically gap shoot it with your user. But like the gap shoots change depending on that. It's just. An absolute mess out there still. Uh, it's just so frustrating um, seeing the run game still play so poorly. QB contains, I don't know. It, there must be something hard on QB contains. It, it must just be impossible to code them. I don't I don't get it. I, yeah, they took off the baseline on the field. You got a baseline in the menu now. Don't know why they did that if they're going to leave baseline in the game. So I gave gameplay. I actually gave it a 7 out of 10, which might be a little high. Um... It's still, like, the best football game out there. I'm having fun with it, but, man, it, I can still recognize the, the, the really big problems. Mutt, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10. It's 20% of the grade, just off the top. And I even think I might be a little too generous with, with Mutt. I gave Cut a 5, and the reason why I gave them so high of a grade was because, like, I expect the, the goodness of these modes to hit in December, January. Like, the later on mutt gets the better the more engaging but right now mutt's playing like a one out of ten but i i do expect the engagement part and we're all addicted to it of course um yeah like i said on the top line it's a full year product we'll see what they do we'll see what uh, what they listen to um auction house is awful they screwed it up um it, it, it like let's just start with the auction house right so Mutt is on this never-ending war with coin sellers, which, like, you're like, yeah, they want more money, obviously, and they don't want other people to get that money. But when you look at other games like Counter-Strike that have, like, a third-party market, like, EA should be embracing, like, the coins for money part of it and, like, just taking a tax on top of it, right? Like, like Valve does. Like, it makes no sense to me why they keep making their game worse instead of embracing it and using it for their own benefit because like it, it you guys know and i think the ea's lawyers are afraid of like lawsuits coming in like mutt is gambling which obviously you know same thing and will be the show offer allows you to buy stubs which are their coins with cash uh cs allows you to, to gamble on cases and stuff like they're just they're very cautious and i get that but like mutt has grown year over year they keep bragging about it it's literally ultimate team game modes literally fund ea the whole studio is funded. The entire company is funded by Ultimate Team and then, you know, Apex cases or whatever they are. Okay, so the entire the entire company is funded by that. Everything else, they've done okay, but that's their main revenue. So, they don't want to screw it up, and I get it. And they, kinda, they have their product, they like how it goes. But, they're making their game worse. And we saw this play out in like 2017, 2018 with their mobile, which was one of the biggest mobile games back in the day. And they started taking things away. They took away, like, Auction House. They weren't able to sell. Like, they, they, they started limiting it. 
right? We lost our trade block, but if you look at mobile, they started taking away things piece by piece, just like we're losing portions of our auction house. Then they took away the ability to buy packs with coins. They, they kept cutting away their game until there was nobody left to play it, right? So if they keep doing things like this, if they pull a 2K and just get rid of the auction house, we saw how that game died, and they're like, oh yeah, well, let's just make gamble-only cards, right? And then now everybody hates 2K for that. And I don't know if they did better than ever or not, but like it seems very desperate the move they had to make midway through when they made their change to get rid of their auction house. So they're making it worse every single year. They're, they're doing the death by a thousand cuts and they're doing it slowly so that way the community keeps getting used to it, which is the smartest way of doing it. Instead of just removing it all at once and having everybody revolt. And like Matt, maybe they saw mobile, they did too quick and they killed the game off. But like, let's get to the point, Fox. You're rambling enough. The point is they need to embrace this portion instead of making their game worse overall like they might not see it but the sentiment is out there right they, they might not see how much it's affecting their bottom line maybe it is growing year over year like they say but it's grown with this and so making your game worse makes your game worse even though you're still growing sure you're you're, you're losing like right like you, you got the water in your hand right now and you keep gripping it tighter to hold on to that water not understanding that's not how you hold on to water so it, it it seems like they're having the same fundamental problems they're trying to control their economy more and more not understanding they're squeezing all the people out it's so short-sighted it's frustrating all right moving on from their their absolute butchering of their auction house and, and their their you know the mark mu the reason why so many of us started playing the muck card collecting stuff they've gone more competitive they they're squeezing out the guys that just like to assemble the teams all right uh they've had glitches a lot like every single content update they added the catalog a couple years ago i don't it doesn't update frequently on the launch of cards basically useless um they've yeah i i don't know what did they change in mutt year over year like if we look at mutt what's the big addition they added some competitive game modes which i know people wanted but we had weekend league two like three years ago right they they removed draft one of the most beloved games but they like removed it because like, nobody's playing it because they gave no rewards right so when solo season goes away because nobody engages with it in a couple years we're not going to be surprised because nobody's going to engage in something where you don't get rewarded for doing it in a game that's literally based all around rewards so it, it, it just seems so funny that like ea sticking a, a, a stick in the in their bicycle spokes and, and then falling over and be like why isn't anybody uh, what's wrong what happened why this happen it's like it's obvious like right it, the old saying was that munger said like show me show me the rewards i'll show you the motivation i don't know what the i don't know what, what that said uh, that was but like if you don't give people reasons to play things they're not gonna play it and and it's just so strange to me why they like oh my god i can't believe the community killed this it's like you did it you did it with your lack of rewards and your time and effort and i like I, they're super worried about bots for good reason but like they're taking the worst way out by making their game worse instead of doing the hard thing and like going through and just just hire somebody to go through and find bots. It would literally take people, like, if it's just one person, like, 10 hours a week, you can go through accounts looking at the database. All right, let's look at the rest of, let's look at the rest of uh, uh, mutt, mutt notes I have. Uh, formation subs, where are those? Why don't they add that to the game? Uh, they still call them Ds and OLBs instead of edges and whatever uh budget cards kind of there's so many things like i've done entire videos on things i want to see in mud i'm not going to go into it here budget cards are kind of back at least for a few moments it's not like it wasn't madden 16 where like dree archer would actually have his realistic speed budget cards are kind of back right now but in like a month time they're all dead unless ea this surprises me but you know they could they could always surprise talk about the removal of draft tramps and on top of the trade block salary cap many more um uh, added a ranked mode brought a salary cap mode uh brought a salary cap mode oh, okay this is wrong brought back a weekend league mode i, I wrote uh, um made a mistake right there it's not salary cap they brought back a weekend league type mode and called it the gauntlet which is what they always called their solos but they called it their weekend league mode i like the card art i do like the card art and then they're probably not gonna go over 100 again very lame overall mutt's terrible overall very disappointed again by the effort they put in mutt but like when we saw what they the effort they put in a cut which is literally just a copy paste of mutt with very little changes i'm like oh okay that actually clears that makes a ton of sense um moving on franchise i'm just gonna go ahead and, and show it all at once scouting system still sucks i don't want to hire scouts that's very boring um and then the, the scouts are your entire scouting like 
uh, what was wrong with the old point system and, and doing the scouting that way? Basically the exact same gameplay loop as previous years. No changes. It's an okay experience, right? Especially online with your buddies. Everything's kind of fun with buddies, isn't it? They added Roger Goodell in the draft. Cool, I guess. They added like a scene, a cutscene. No ability to bring guys in for college football. It, it, it's an unfortunate decision why they couldn't mend their contracts and things with college players to bring them into Madden as draft draft eligible. Do you think people wouldn't want to be in Madden? I think college players are like, no, I don't want to be in Madden. <laughs> no, don't bring my likeness and rights into Madden. Like you gonna you literally pay these college football players five hundred bucks in a copy of the game. That same price would have got you them rights if people draft classes into Madden. I don't know. That seems strange to me. EA's obviously very overcautious with things. They are run by bureaucrats, so it makes sense they're they're overcautious versus the rule of cool. I didn't play Superstar mode. I I think like. I've given a lot of feedback on the years I did play, and they just ignore it. And, like, the game isn't, mode isn't getting better. I, they're just like, hey, cool ideas, Fox. Thanks for wasting your time giving us them. They have their specific they have their specific vision, and it sucks. I, I don't know what else to say. It, it is what it is. Um, if people tell me it's awesome, then I'll pick it up, but I have seen nothing of the sort. I'm not sure I've seen a, seen a single person talk about the Superstar mode, like, online. The, obviously, reviewers will talk about it. Like, Superstar Mode's always been the review bait, right? Because reviewers with the game have, like, a few hours before they put out the review. And so Super, Superstar Mode's always just been that, like, few-hour experience that you can play, give to you, reviewers to get a high, higher score. Even though reviewers are seeing through a lot of the BS lately. Because the online outcry about how bad their game has is, is kind of finally gotten to them. Once it's become cool to poop on the Madden product, you've seen the people, like, the reviewers react to it, Right. The reviewers uh, I see out there, a lot of them, they don't want to put out opinions that are rocking the boat too often until it's cool to rock the boat. Um, so you've seen, that's why you've seen Madden scores decline over recent years when they should have declined many years ago. Music, 0% of the grade. Um, can't listen to it due to DMCA. Like, um, but yeah, let me know if you guys like it. I heard it's better this year. I'm not going to listen to this. Song. Well, I guess I can listen to it offline. I can do it Spotify. Graphics. Um, I actually think the graphics in the game are really good. I have no issue with the graphics. I know a lot of people are, like poop on it, but like I'm fine. I, you know, some of the likenesses are wrong, but they do a lot of headshots. They really care about graphics. You can tell it's their major improvement year over year. But my problem, like oftentimes, they added the defensive play play movement to make it more realistic, but uh, makes it hard to do pre snap adjustments and uh, players go offside from time to time, and that sucks. That shouldn't be in the game. They should truly take off if a, if a, a CPU player is offside. At least in competitive mode. Simulation, guys go offside all the time. Sure. But in competitive mode, they should take off the offsides penalty for CPU players. Well, that could lead to some problems, but they got to fix the pre-snap movements causing offside penalties. My overall grade for the game, 5 out of 10. Pretty poor effort. Maybe a lot of their effort went into CFB this year, but we have excuses for them every year. That's all I got to say about that. Like, I, like, concluding thoughts, I wish it were better. I wish they listened to more of the community around their gameplay and like the problems with it that have been sticky problems for years. The Mutt team, I don't know, I don't know how many people they have on the Mutt team, but it's clearly not enough. With the lack of innovation year over year, the lack of things to do, and the constant glitches. Like I, I uh, if this is more than like three or four people doing Mutt, I'd be very disappointed in the effort they're putting out. And I, I think they got a pretty big Mutt team. Obviously, they got a card art. They got a few people doing card art. So it's like what two? How many people does it make the kick hard art? I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's very disappointing. I, that's all I got to say. Disappointing. Like, and, and hopefully Sauce Gardner's on the cover next year so they got an excuse to fix zones. Or, or maybe do a dual cover. Maybe do like a Larry Fitzgerald, Troy Palm Isle thing. Sauce Gardner, Andrew Thomas, like Battle of New York. It, then fix O-line and, and defensive backs. Or, or uh, patch it during the year. I don't know. Fix your game, please, EA. Bye.